Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn, Steffi, Hayes, and Kelly were read to at the cliff home. Since Steffi was still dehydrated, they discussed her visit to the hospital. I missed you, Kelly tells her parents. Ridge and Taylor appear and pick up the kids. Thanks to her hero, Steffi tells her parents she's okay. Finn, the Hayes Kelly Steffi B and B. If you ask Taylor, Finn is a superhero, she'll tell Kelly. He amazes her with how much he cares about his family. Over to embrace their parents, the children dash over. We almost lost you, Taylor sobs, while Steffi assures her mother that she is doing fine. Being home is a blessing for her. There were instances when she believed she wasn't going to come back there. Poppy and Lee arrive at the cliff house after the kids have gone on a play date, and Finn allows them in. Poppy says he's sorry to interrupt. She introduces herself to Taylor and then turns to Steffi. Steffi, I am so grateful that you're safe and I am so sincerely sorry for everything that my daughter has done. She cries. A forester, Hope tells Brooke she can't get over the surreal events with Luna. They thank God that Finn got there to save Steffi when he did and that she's all right. Brooke feels Finn is absolutely a hero. Hope comments that it only underscores what a fantastic man he is. Brooke corrects, what a terrific husband he is. Hope feels any lady would be lucky to have him. Exasperated, Brooke asks Hope if her feelings for Finn are starting to re-emerge. In the design office, Will and Katie discuss Luna being a killer and not Bill's daughter. Katie concerns to think of what could have happened to Bill. Will reassures her and they hug. They go over how nasty Luna turned out to be and what a hero Finn was to save Steffi. Will changes gears back to Bill. I want to know how you actually feel about him. Katie finds this a loaded question. Will insists he's moved past wanting his parents back together. He didn't like how his father handled her. Katie's forgiven him. It took years, but Bill's evolved. Will asks whether she wants him back in her life. Katie sighs. At Bill's apartment, Liam asks him how he's holding up. Bill's just grateful he wasn't in Luna's crosshairs. Liam realizes he can't turn off the feelings he felt. How are you, really? Bill believes he's okay and ready to move on. He doesn't see the purpose in fussing about it. Liam says it's okay have a feeling and open up about it. Bill says the last time he opened up he was missled by a con artist. He enjoyed being Luna's dad, but it wasn't genuine. So he doesn't want to talk about it, think about it, or feel about it. He wants to move on. Bill says if he hadn't been so delighted with being a father to Luna, his spency instincts could have picked up on this. Liam recalls that Katie was the one person who picked up on things being strange. Bill believes she was incorrect about Poppy. Liam thinks there's a silver lining and reminds his father that no matter how dark things get, Katie will always be there for him. Liam asks Bill where things are with Poppy. Does this make any difference to another opportunity with Katie? Bill doesn't know what the future holds. In the design office, Katie promises Will she'll always care for his father. Will marvels, even after him injuring you the manner that he did? Katie thinks Bill had a wake-up call to change. Will notices she battled so hard to keep him safe, so he'll ask one more time, do you want a life with him? In the main office, Hope insists her feelings for Finn are under control. I have a grip on it, and I do feel bad about all of this. Brooke narrows her brows. Do you really feel horrible about kissing Finn? At the cliff home, Rich tells the group that RJ is confused and upset. He liked Poppy's daughter and thought he knew her. Poppy never dreamed she'd be capable of the awful things she's done. I failed her. She killed people, and she almost... Poppy's voice cracks. Taylor reminds her that miring herself in guilt won't benefit anyone. Their children finally make their own decisions. All they can do now is hope Luna gets the care she needs. Poppy continues thinking she'll wake up from this nightmare. But, you're correct. I have to believe that Luna will get the help that she needs. But one day, I can have my daughter back. Ridge grunts that they all hope she gets better. He thinks it's time to move on. 
Steffi agrees. Finn is still grappling with what his cousin did, but Rich and Steffi are right. He and Steffi embrace. Poppy comes at Bill's apartment and tells him she doesn't know where they are or where they stand with each other. In the design office, Will tells Katie his dad never stopped loving her. At the cliff she home, accuses him Steffi of trying to Finn emotionally go over how they felt when she was absent and held captive in the cage. Finn's sorry he didn't listen to her about hope. That kiss set all of this in action. He never wants to upset or hurt her ever again. Steffi knows how much he loves her. You saved my life. When she needs him the most, he's there. You really are my hero. They promise nothing will ever pull them apart. Their love is intense. Their love is everlasting. They kiss. Ridge Forrester and Taylor Hayes both went over to greet Steffi following her safe return home. Taylor grieved for almost losing Steffi, but she assured her mom that she was all right owing to Finn's brave efforts. Soon later, Poppy Nozawa came over with Lee Finnegan by her side. That gave Poppy a chance to apologize to Steffi, so she claimed she was very profoundly sorry for what Luna Nozawa had done. Leb got a soothing hand on her sister's shoulder as Poppy reflected on all the horror Luna had inflicted. Taylor met Poppy and pointed out that youngsters grow up to make their own decisions. After Taylor said they had to hope Luna got the care she needed, Poppy agreed and hoped she may have her daughter back one day. After Steffi and Finn were alone on Monday's B&B episode, they spent more romantic moments on the sofa. Finn thought back to Hope Logan's kiss setting things in motion and never wanted to do anything to harm or upset Steffi again. Steffi believed that and loaded Finn as her hero once more. After Finn made a prediction about nothing ever driving them apart, he declared their love was strong and forever. At Forrester Creations, Hope and Brooke Logan spoke about all the wild Luna news. Since Finn saved Steffi after she ran away from him, Hope thought that simply proved what a remarkable man he was. Brooke grilled Hope about her feelings for Finn, but Hope maintained they were under control and that she could appreciate the good physician from afar. Although Brooke still sounded apprehensive, Hope assured her mom had nothing to worry about, and neither did Steffi. At the Spencer mansion, Liam Spencer sought to encourage Bill Spencer to open up about his feelings with all the Luna updates. Bill snapped because he was missled by a sick con artist, so he just wanted to go on and not dwell on how he felt. Liam acknowledged that Katie Logan was the one person who knew something was different, but Bill insisted she was wrong about Poppy. Even still, Liam insisted that Katie put herself in peril for Bill's sake. The silver lining in all this was that Katie would always be there for Bill, so Liam wondered if that made any difference when it came to their potential future together. Bill said he didn't know what the future held and later got a visit from Poppy, who admitted she didn't know where they stood with each other. Back at Forrester Creations Design Studio, Will Spencer talked to Katie about the Luna mayhem and inquired how she actually felt about his dad. Will kept quizzing Katie about whether she desired a life with Bill, but he denied playing matchmaker. The bold and the beautiful spoilers claim Bill and Katie could have a new chapter developing, so don't miss what's in store. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.